Alright, he's Mega here. It's the next day after I got the turbo timer installed and uh, so if you remember from last we left uh, I uh, I got the this guy the uh, this central locking remote central locking system is what the technical term for it is. I just call it a keyless entry um, uh, I got I figured out how it works and I know how to install it so uh, so we should get on it so um, so yeah, it's the next day um, so what's gotta happen is um, this goes to a hot 12 volts and um, this this one of these is your lock and unlock module um, and it'll tell you right here which one let's, let's look at it right now first um, so the lock signal is the white one so the white the solid white one is a lock signal and the white with the black stripe is your unlock yes that's right and then this is your hot and this is your ground that's it that's all we need and this is the antenna we're gonna fish that up into the dash somewhere so we can get some good reception and uh, and then these are the keys so those are the ingredients um, so what I'm gonna do so these are the grounds so basically basically that like I said last time the way this works is uh, when it receives a, a signal it is like a radio inside it um, when it receives a signal from the um, the remote, it uh, it opens a relay. Uh, it, it there, I guess there's like two relays inside, and it opens uh, one relay, and then uh, it basically it connects. Uh, it connects. It, I think it connects these wires to these wires. Is basically what's happening here. So um, so yeah. Uh, but but these are grounds. So so when when uh, when you press the button here, it'll uh, when it press the button here, it'll open the channel for the relay to the corresponding wire. So I guess like the solid the solid yellow will will it'll open the it'll open the the signal to that one uh, the channel for that, and it'll ground it and it'll it'll ground it all the way to. The other wire so that's the way it works that's what we figured out yesterday so that's a little recap um, so we're gonna go install it um, so so what I'm gonna do first is since all of these just need to be grounded like instead of making separate grounds uh, all I'm gonna do is uh, so I braided it together yesterday look at that braid job <laughs> um, I'm gonna probably braid it a little more what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I guess I'm gonna strip these more. I'm gonna twist them together, and then I'm just gonna solder it to the ground wire right here. That's it. And then, and then I'm gonna put a ring terminal on this, and then we're gonna ground it. And then, and then uh, we're gonna go. So I, I, I'm kind of gonna do like a two, two and one today, kind of. Um, so I want—I was wanting to install this, but I don't have the screws and stuff to install it. But I'm just gonna let it kind of dangle there. The reason, uh, so I might as well just do the introduction for this guy. So I bought this a while ago, and it's just been sitting in my garage. It's a 12 volt power receptacle, and uh, it's an all weather one. I don't really want the all weather. I don't really need an all weather one, but whatever. I could always break the break the little cover off. Uh, but uh, but what it is is it, it's a. Um, it's a 12 volt power outlet. It's a cigarette lighter outlet. I'm gonna wire this to a 12 volt hot, and this has to go to a 12 volt hot. So hot, and what I mean hot is means it's on all the time, like no matter what. So so I was gonna use this in conjunction with let me go get it with this bad boy. So here we go. I got a solar charger. It's a battery tender. Um, so this, like I said. I don't drive this car very often, so uh, it just kind of just sits outside, and sometimes the battery, you know, it's not good to let it sit outside, um, not driving because it drains the battery. And now the pro the one of the, and it has a cigarette lighter adapter here. So basically, what this does is it takes converts the solar energy into you know energy to charge your thing. It has a little a little trickle charger right here and it charges your battery so um, if you can hook it up to a 12 volts it'll charge your battery so that's that is the reason that is the reason uh that's the reason i got this guy the 
plug into this easily. So, like I said, um, it um, before before I had a wire going straight to the battery, I, I had the alligator or the kind of like jumper cables going to the battery, and then I had it fished in through the, the fender and stuff. So, to to make it a cleaner installation, I'm just going to install one of those. Um, I can't I can't do that with the one that's in the car right now because one, there's something connected to it, and two, uh, it's a uh, this is a um, 12 volt switch, and I kind of want a 12 volt switch because uh, if uh, if it wasn't a 12 volt switch, this would be on right now. So, so I'll have one switched and one that's hot all the time. And, uh, I'm, and I, I don't have to use it to use the solar charger. I can use it, you know, for whatever. You know, I can put an inverter in it or whatnot. So, so that is what's gonna happen. So, and it has a fuse, 15 amp fuse right here. That should be good. Um, and a, another good thing to hook that charger up is I think this is going to draw some power, um, like a, like an alarm draws power when, when, you know, it, it's, it's constantly on and it's, it's waiting for it's, you know, it's scanning for signals and stuff. It's probably not a lot of draw. It's not like an alarm alarm, you know, with the, it has like the, the LEDs and the sensors and all that stuff. It probably doesn't eat up as much power as a, a straight up alarm. But I am sure it does draw some power. And one of the one of the things I love about this car is that the battery doesn't drain when I just let it sit. Unlike that car over there. <laughs> Unlike that car over there to eclipse. Um, I have to constantly disconnect the battery because if there's a, some kind of crazy ass draw on it, and it's not the alarm that's 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 causing that. I have, I'll have to take that to a shop to get that fixed. Then. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So. So that's the dealio. So while while I'm installing this, uh, so I'm gonna probably connect this to the ignition harness or the the turbo timer harness. I'll connect it straight to the turbo timer harness, and then I'll run this wire to where I want it, and then it'll these these will be connected to each other, and then uh, and then it'll be uh, connected to the the 12 volts the the 12 volts hot on the turbo timer that I found before. So I'm trying to get all this electronics projects done. Uh, so, so let's hop to it. So first, uh, I think the first order of business will be uh, to, uh, to take that, uh, take the relay block out, um, so we can access the wires, and then, uh, and then, um, and then we'll start soldering the the grounds and everything on this. And I want to do it before it gets dark, and I have to work tonight, so. Kind of have to hurry up. My Galant has no gas, so I have to go take it to the gas station. It's all right. What we gotta get to is here. So I think uh, it's just this screw, and this screw's gotta come. Oh, geez, that one looks like it's gonna be a tough one to get to. All right. And handy dandy uh, Phillips head screwdriver here. I may need to get a, a stubby, but we'll see. This one looks like it's pretty easily accessible. I don't know why this thing is zip tied here. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way, but... Boom! There it is. Okay, it's free. So you, they said that you have to take this out and you have to flip it around. It's a lot easier working from the top. I know, that's as far as it goes. Alright, well... I'll, I'll figure something out. Um, well, uh, maybe it's it's caught somewhere in the back. I'll have to un uncatch it. Okay, this is what I got to work with here. So, uh, the wire... Uh, the wire goes around this metal thingamajigger here. I don't really know how to take that out, and I don't really want to take that out. Um, yeah, so this is the wire that goes to that block. So, um, and this is the best I can do. <laughs> I have to work with it. I have to work with it like this, so I have to kind of like lie down in the engine, I know the 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 foot well, and uh, and work from here. So the wires we're trying to work with are actually way down, way fuck down here. Great. Gonna go with the sheet. Right, right there. <laughs> uh, 
these uh, so, okay, so I went and unbolted this this relay I don't know what it does but let's get that out of the way for us in the way okay so now I got a pretty good area to work with provided I don't lie, lie down too long and hurt my back so the wires I'm working with are right here right here this area right here and I kind of I checked one of them yesterday and it worked so I just had to figure out what wire I know it's a brown wire so we'll get that and I'll get my headlight out it's kind of hard to see under there but for now that's that task is done next task will be to uh start desoldering i should have what i sh damn it what i should have been doing was uh was um getting the soldering iron okay <laughs> i've kind of figured right. out where i'm going to put this now um i, I know i don't want to put it anywhere it's going to like stand out a whole lot uh, but uh what I, where i'm going to put it is right here i'm going to take this little hook thingy out here and then we're going to mount it right there. And then I'm going to zip tie it to probably that hole or something. That should be good. Uh, I'm going to use one of these as a ground. So we're going to put a ring terminal on this. Connect it right there. Hopefully that'll work. I, I Preferably I'd like to hook it up where the ECU is hooked up. Where all these other grounds are, but I think it should be fine. Um, and then we're going to rat, we're going to I'm going to solder a, a longer wire to this so we can make it to the, the 12 volts. I could probably, you know, I'm thinking, I wonder what one of, one of these wires is hot. There's a red wire here. Yeah, I know. It would probably be easier just to run it here, but that's okay. It's not, it's not that long. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be here, and then it's going to be grounded here, and then this is going to be run to the other side with all these other wires. I haven't really been hiding these wires too well either. Alright. So, uh, that is the, that's the dealio. So. Okay, so what I've done is uh, I shortened the wa uh, yellow wires a little bit. And then uh, I braided it a little tighter. And then um, and then I braided the two together. Um, I stripped the wire and I braided the two together. And then now I'm going to cut into the jacket here. And then I uh, wrap this around there and then solder it in. Okay, there's my handiwork. So, like I said, I braided it and I, I cut in a jacket and I wrapped it around there. So now all I've got to do is solder it on. Okay, so in the meantime here, I'm gonna go install some some ring terminal. Well, not it's not really a ring terminal. It's like kind of like a it's like an open ring terminal. These are the, these are nice. I get these at Daiso for a dollar fifty, and they come with a little like a silicone jacket here. Oh, I should probably put that on first. Oh no no! Before that, let's not do that. <laughs> I'll I'll do that for let's do that for this one. Let's, let's do this one first. This is the uh, our little our little dealie here. So, so first, I want to put uh, a little jacket in. So it looks all pretty. So we call the jacket. We're gonna go. Here, as far as we can get it, I guess. Let's cut it a little bit. I always solder my stuff. Always, always. But uh, most alarm technicians don't do that, so I think I shave it just a tad bit more. I already put. There's already a uh, solder out there. Now this is interesting. Additionally, I could have used the uh, heat shrink tubing, but that's what I'm going to use for that other part. That's why, that's why I stopped. Um, and I need some covers. I'm not the best at crimping. Like I said, if you solder it, you don't have to worry about being a crappy crimper. So that's just to hold the jacket on there. My little arm guy. Okay, I'm gonna go solder that bad boy on there. Yep, there we go. Let's put as much as you think you need to get. 
that thing to stick. There we go. Not, not the best, but we'll do the trick. Alright, so that's one. One ground done. Okay, we're done with this guy. Let's go put... Oh. Well, it's not the best solder. Um, the wire is actually, I don't know, maybe the wire is just really big. But the wire looks like it's like trying to come off, like, boom, that way. But it's okay. So now we put this silicone dealy in here. Alright, there's our, there's our ground. So if you remember correctly, this is the one that we did, uh, I was trying to do, and the uh, soldering iron went off. I have to get a new soldering iron too. The tip is went soft, welded onto this thing. It's not wanting to stick. Not wanting to stick. That's a poor solder job, man. Let's flip it around and add some more. I don't know what the deal is. It's not a. Uh, it's not taking the solder, man. It's, you know, it's not tinning. Well, that's fine. It's braided onto there anyway, so. Um, I'm surprised that did not solder very well. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'm maybe I need to use some different uh, lead. Let's try this. Try this stuff out here real quick. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It will not. Uh, it will not tin. That is really odd. I wonder what kind of metal those wires are made out of. Um, all right, whatever. Um, so what I'm gonna do, so that doesn't come off, is I will, uh, I will use this stuff. Ta -da! So I'm gonna help uh, keep it all together. But I guess just twisting it was okay. Would have would have worked also. So it's no big deal. And then I got my handy dandy uh, heat gun here. I don't have to use a what you call it, electrical tape. I, I would pref much prefer you use shrink wrap.
horrible, horrible soldering job. It's on there though. It's not coming off. Okay. Just put this on there. All right, so all our grounds are on there. Um, so now, all that we gotta do is uh, gotta connect the rest of the stuff. Okay, what I gotta do next is actually, uh, I'm not done with the soldering yet. <laughs> um, I've gotta connect this primary wire to here. To, I have to make this longer, it's not long enough. So I'm gonna go strip this. the right size wire, I do you know. That's okay, that's a work. Just cut this little, whatever this is here. Okay, let it, to, let it cool down a bit. Okay, good to go. So we got a super long wire here. And we'll just cut it when we get to the end of where we need to go. It's just probably way longer than we need, but so that's it. So everything is ready to be installed in the car. All right. Here's what we got for now. <laughs>